Dr. James T. Ryder, who served as vice president of Lockheed Martin Space Systems Company from May 2005 until his retirement in February 2011, is a man of remarkable achievements in aerospace and defense. During his tenure at Lockheed Martin, Ryder played a key role in shaping projects that defined modern space exploration and military technology. However, in recent years, his interests have taken an unexpected turn. After his retirement, Ryder has become increasingly vocal about a topic far removed from the technological advancements he once spearheaded, consciousness. Dr. Ryder's shift from focusing on physical science and aerospace engineering to the study of consciousness has raised eyebrows in both the scientific and business communities. Nevertheless, his perspective on consciousness has drawn considerable attention, especially because of his reputation as a highly respected figure in a field that is known for its rigor and reliance on objective data. In interviews and public statements, Ryder has begun discussing the importance of consciousness, arguing that it may be the key to unlocking not only deeper understandings of the human mind, but also new dimensions of scientific and technological development. Dr. Ryder's career at Lockheed Martin was marked by his leadership in some of the most advanced technological projects of the 21st century. Lockheed Martin Space Systems is one of the leading players in space exploration, satellite technology and defense systems, and during Ryder's time with the company, he oversaw efforts that shaped the future of these industries. His work involved developing cutting-edge space systems and defense technologies, and under his leadership, Lockheed Martin was involved in projects related to NASA's space exploration missions and military satellite development. However, after his retirement in February 2011, Ryder began turning his attention away from the material sciences and engineering that had defined his professional life. Instead, he started to explore the world of consciousness, a field that merges philosophy, neuroscience, psychology, and even metaphysical thought. In many people's view, consciousness is not merely a byproduct of the brain's biological processes. Instead, they suggest that consciousness may hold the key to understanding deeper truths about reality itself. During interviews, Ryder has referenced the importance of consciousness in shaping not just personal experience, but the fabric of reality. Others have suggested that consciousness could be the driving force behind much of what we perceive in the physical world, potentially making it as significant as energy or matter in the equation of existence. Dr. James T. Ryder's shift from aerospace technology to the study of consciousness is not just a philosophical endeavor, but may also be driven by something more profound. His public focus on consciousness has led to speculation that there could be a breakthrough discovery in this area, something that could revolutionize not only our understanding of the mind, but also science and technology as a whole. The fact that someone with Ryder's prestigious background, rooted in science, engineering and aerospace, would take such an interest in consciousness has fueled theories that his insights may be linked to newly emerging knowledge, possibly from his previous work in highly advanced technological fields. Many of Ryder's statements suggest that consciousness plays a far greater role in shaping reality than we currently understand. Many have hinted that consciousness could be the missing link in many unsolved scientific mysteries, including quantum mechanics, the nature of time, and even the possibility of parallel universes. For someone like Ryder, who spent decades at the cutting edge of technological advancement with Lockheed Martin, his sudden focus on a more metaphysical topic has sparked curiosity and intrigue. Some believe Ryder's interest in consciousness is not merely a personal pursuit, but a sign that a breakthrough, one with far-reaching implications, may have recently been made. One possible reason Ryder is talking about consciousness is that he believes it holds the key to future technological advancements. Over the past few decades, scientific fields like neuroscience, quantum physics, and artificial intelligence have made leaps in understanding the brain and the nature of reality. But these advances have also highlighted the gaps in our knowledge, particularly when it comes to consciousness. Ryder may see consciousness as the next frontier, the place where science and technology can evolve beyond current limitations. In other words, it's possible Ryder has recognized that further breakthroughs in these areas might require a paradigm shift in how we understand consciousness. In addition, Ryder's discussions about consciousness could be linked to his aerospace background. As a leader at Lockheed Martin Space Systems, 
Ryder would have been exposed to research that involved not only physical space exploration, but also the possibility of new dimensions, parallel realities, or advanced propulsion systems, areas that are increasingly being theorized in the context of quantum mechanics. The peculiarities of quantum phenomena, such as entanglement and the observer effect, suggest that consciousness might play an active role in shaping reality at the quantum level. If Ryder was involved in projects where these ideas were being explored, it's possible he now feels compelled to speak out about the significance of consciousness in understanding the universe. Furthermore, Ryder's work at Lockheed Martin may have exposed him to classified research or advanced technologies that explored the intersection of human cognition and machine systems. If so, his interest in consciousness might be connected to emerging technologies, neural interfaces, or other developments that require a deeper understanding of how consciousness functions. Ryder could be signaling that this area of study is not just a philosophical pursuit, but a key to unlocking future innovations in technology, space exploration, and possibly even human evolution. Ryder's new emphasis on consciousness has led to speculation that a major breakthrough discovery may have recently been made, either within the scientific community or possibly within more secretive government or private sector research projects. Some believe Ryder's decision to go public with his thoughts about consciousness could be a signal that something significant has happened, something that could change the way we think about the mind, reality, and the nature of existence itself. One theory is that recent breakthroughs in quantum computing, or neuroscience, have revealed unexpected connections between consciousness and the physical world. Quantum computing, for example, is starting to push the boundaries of what is possible in terms of processing power and problem solving. As researchers explore the strange world of quantum mechanics, they may have discovered that consciousness plays a more active role in the quantum realm than previously thought. This idea ties into theories about the observer effect, where the act of observing a quantum event changes its outcome. If consciousness is indeed influencing the quantum world, this could explain Ryder's newfound focus on its importance. Another possibility is that the aerospace or defense sectors have uncovered new insights into how consciousness interacts with energy and matter, perhaps even in the context of advanced propulsion systems or communication technologies. Ryder's role at Lockheed Martin involved overseeing highly classified space systems and technologies, some of which might have included cutting-edge experiments in fields that intersect with consciousness, such as cognitive science or even anomalous phenomena. If there have been recent breakthroughs in understanding how human consciousness affects physical systems, such as energy fields, particles, or even space-time, it would represent a paradigm shift in how we approach both science and technology. Some online researchers have speculated that Ryder's emphasis on consciousness might also be tied to research involving potential contact with non-human intelligence, whether through extraterrestrial means or via dimensions beyond our current understanding. While this may seem far-fetched, recent government disclosures about UFOs and unexplained aerial phenomena have reopened the conversation about advanced technologies that might be beyond human capabilities. If consciousness plays a role in understanding or communicating with such phenomena, it would lend new credence to Ryder's interest in this subject. If there has indeed been a breakthrough in understanding consciousness, the implications would be profound. It could redefine our approach to technology, medicine, mental health, and even space exploration. For example, a deeper understanding of consciousness could lead to new technologies that harness mental energy or use consciousness as a medium for controlling machines or systems. Such advances could revolutionize the field of artificial intelligence, allowing machines to think or even become self-aware in ways that are currently beyond our reach. In medicine, a breakthrough in consciousness could unlock new ways to treat mental health disorders, brain injuries, or neurological diseases. By understanding how consciousness interacts with the brain and the body, scientists might develop new therapies that enhance cognitive function, repair damaged neural pathways, or treat conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's with greater precision. From a philosophical perspective, a breakthrough in consciousness could challenge our understanding of reality itself. If consciousness plays an active role in shaping the universe, it would call into question long-held assumptions about materialism and the nature of existence. It could also open the door to new spiritual or metaphysical interpretations of life and the universe, blurring the lines between science and spirituality. This renewed interest 
reflects a broader recognition that consciousness is not just a subjective experience, but may be a fundamental aspect of the universe, interconnected with everything from quantum mechanics to human cognition. The significance of consciousness is gaining traction across scientific communities, with researchers increasingly acknowledging that fully understanding consciousness could provide answers to some of the most challenging questions of our time. One of the primary areas where the study of consciousness has seen a resurgence is in neuroscience and psychology. For decades, neuroscientists have worked to map the human brain, identifying neural pathways, neurotransmitters, and regions associated with specific cognitive functions. However, while we have learned a great deal about how the brain processes information, the mystery of how subjective experience, the very essence of consciousness, emerges from neural activity remains unsolved. Neuroscientists such as Christoph Koch and Antonio Damasio have been at the forefront of exploring the hard problem of consciousness, which refers to the question of how and why physical processes in the brain give rise to conscious experience. Koch, for instance, has argued that understanding consciousness is one of the greatest challenges facing modern science. His work with the integrated information theory suggests that consciousness arises from the integration of information across different systems in the brain. Although still theoretical, this approach marks a significant attempt to bridge the gap between subjective experience and measurable brain activity. Similarly, Antonio Damasio has focused on how emotions and body-based processes contribute to the formation of consciousness. He proposes that consciousness is not merely a cognitive function, but is deeply intertwined with our emotions and physiological states. By studying how consciousness emerges from the brain's ability to represent the body's internal states, Damasio has opened new avenues for understanding the intricate relationship between mind and body, paving the way for future research into how consciousness affects everything from decision-making to general health. Beyond neuroscience and psychology, the study of consciousness has also made its way into the field of quantum mechanics. Quantum physicists have long grappled with strange phenomena, such as wave-particle duality and the observer effect, that seem to suggest a connection between consciousness and the behavior of particles at the quantum level. This has led some scientists to question whether consciousness itself might play an active role in shaping reality.